What's going on you guys? This is Luigi Rocks 2014 bringing you part 9 of Super Mario World. Um, today we're going to be heading into the Valley of Bowser. Um, so yeah, let's get into this. And yep, I got hit. Well, wow. yep, already taken some hits. Okay. Jeez, really? Already taking another hit? Okay. Yeah, it's been a little while since I've actually played this level, so I'm trying to remember how this goes. Yeah, I actually forgot you can't really use, um... Oh. Yeah, what you need to do is try to get the charging truck to clear a pathway in. For some reason I failed. There we go. Yeah, the first dragon coin's up here, and then... Yeah, there's nothing else over here. Okay, can I get off Yoshi for a second? No? Yeah, you can't slide underneath stuff when you have Yoshi on you, so... I'll have to get off and then move that block out of the way. There we go. Yeah, so I think I do end up getting 999 lives, because as you can see, now I have 833. Yep, so let's do this. Oh boy, come on. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, this level is pretty tricky, you know, when it comes to finding all the dragon coins, you know, because you gotta, you not only don't just gotta find them, but you also gotta try to beat the level under a certain amount of time, too, and that can be pretty challenging. Alright, yep. Come on. Okay, we're just gonna go up here, screw it, I don't really care anymore. charging truck break those blocks and then <clears throat> okay wow there's nothing there okay okay there's a three up moon over there yeah I'm just gonna have to take the hit because I need to get Yoshi back so dragon coin up there. <clears throat> I don't think there's any up there, but yeah. Let's just head down here, get the fourth dragon coin. Okay. Um, I think there's one down there. Probably not. I don't know. Okay, yep. Yeah, use that giant Monty Mole's platform and then I'm just gonna cross through here. Alright, come on. Can you please break the blocks? Okay, seriously? I'm literally about to... Okay, you know what? Yep, just kill that guy. Okay, yep, there we go. Last dragon coin's over here, and then... Oh, no, I don't even know if I make it to the end in time. We can make it. We got 41 seconds left. We can do this. <clears throat> Alright, so now we have the second Valley of Bowser. Um, yeah, I did a little cut here. So that first level that you saw... Um, I was actually, that level actually, believe it or not, I was recording at a different location, so if the, if, the, if the audio sounded a little bit different, yeah, that's the reason why. Yeah, I was recording on a different 
TV than the one that I'm normally used to recording, but I think now at this point I'm just back to recording at my, uh, you know, back at my mom's place. But yeah, that last, that first level, yeah, I was recorded at my dad's house, so you know, we'll just head into level two and then, oh yeah, with Yoshi you can pretty much skip most of this level. Yep, we've got dragon coins here that we can collect. Yeah, if you're on the hunt for dragon coins, this is, like, much easier if you just go through this area. Yeah, this area gives you, I think, more than just four dragon coins. I think there's five in this area. No, there's just four. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's enough to at least get that out of the way. So, now here's where the bad news happens. Um... Unfortunately, we have to get rid of Yoshi, so yeah, I'm not really too happy about that. But I'm not going to worry about it either because, you know, we'll get him back in a later level because there's one level where you actually need him to get one of the secrets and stuff, so... Yeah, it's not really a total loss. It's only more, more of a minor loss than a total loss <clears throat> or major loss or whatever. Alright, yep, just gotta let this go up, and then... Come on. <clears throat> Come on, Luigi. Yep, let's go. Alright, so I think after this part, we just gotta let this go down. Run! Well, don't run too far. Yeah. So obviously I'm not gonna make that jump, for sure. Oh, crap. Oh crap, almost got crushed there. Alright, come on. Let's go, Luigi. Luigi, Luigi. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, so you're probably wondering, where's the secret at? Well, you'll find out here in a second. Alright, yep, head over here. head here into this pipe and then I think um yep yeah just head over here to the left grab this key and then and that's pretty much the secret so now the path branches off to two other levels and uh, this was kind of a tricky one, because I, I was kind of deciding if I should just do the fortress first or the ghost house. The fortress is extremely annoying, and I don't like that level, but then I thought, well, I should probably do the ghost house, because the secret in this one is just about as annoying as the fortress itself. So, yeah. Um, but... Yeah, I don't think we're going to be going for the secret right now. What we're going to be going for, of course, are the dragon coins before anything else. Because, yeah, I want to make sure I get these out of the way. Yeah, I'm not going to... I think there was a power-up in there, but I'm not going to worry about it because I... there's just no way I can. Okay, I think... Oh, right. Now, see, this part here you actually need... Um, a P-switch, which I apparently messed up on. Yeah, so what we gotta do now is, um, grab the star power up and then... Okay, yep, got all the dragon coins. Yeah, the... The end of the level is, like, at the far end, but again, I screwed that up, so now... Yep, now I get to have the pleasure of... Yep, now I get to redo the whole area over again. So yeah, all dragon coins are collected, but yeah, I think we're... I'm probably just going to more likely focus on getting the... Oh yeah, you can't... Oh, well, no, yeah, you can grab the star again. Alright, cool. Yeah, I think this area you're supposed to have like a normal power-up, and I don't know how I kept messing that up. 
Alright, come on. I really just need to not worry about getting the star power up, because I think that's my mistake, is getting the star power up. Yeah, come on. Come on, Luigi. Let's not worry about the damn star power up and just get to the end. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. We actually got enough to make it... To collected enough coins to make it to the end, end of the level, so... <clears throat> but that very last door, you'll need to go into that to get the the secret. Um, and it is possible to do it as Luigi. It is possible. Um, it's just a bit challenging. Yeah, so... I don't know why I'd, I just decided to cut all the way to the secret like that. So, I'm gonna have to explain further context how the secret works. Basically, there's like the... There's like this little coin trail block that you hit, and what it does is like, again, it just makes a trail of coins appear. What you need to do is you need to also have a P-switch with you and turn those into solid blocks so you can just ride those up to where the um, secret is. Um, and again, I didn't really show that on screen, and that was probably like a big mistake. So, um, yeah, that's, that's one thing I'm going to have to try to correct myself on when I do the Super Nintendo version is trying not to cut too much crap out because yeah obviously I've cut way too much crap out in this playthrough so yeah if I'm gonna do any re-recording it's all just do it on the Super Nintendo that way it won't be like as pointless and no I'm not gonna grab that fire flower I don't think yeah the cape power up is much more useful here so yeah we'll just fly through here I don't know why I'm even using that platform. I mean, I don't really need it. Okay, yep, there's Dragon Coin number four. All right. Crap. Oh, boy, that was close. Yep. Try not to get hit by the bonsai bill, and then... There we go. All five Dragon Coins are collected. Now we could just get to the end. Oh my gosh, I want to get... No, I'm not getting that one up. Yeah, I could get some more lives if I do this bonus game. If I could just not screw it up like an idiot, I mean, I could probably do this no problem. But, you know, obviously I don't think that's going to work out so easily. Um, yeah, so I think the Valley of Bowser Fortress, I just end up doing that. Um, like, I think that's like a last thing I did before the... Oh, wow. First time I've actually screwed up at a bonus game. Yep. Yep, first screw up ever. Um, okay, so this level, we need Yoshi. Um, which, luckily, we have Yoshi in this level. Um, okay, so... What I'm actually going to do first is I'm going to go down this pipe here and get a... A feather power up in this block. Oh, but no, not just that, but also there's a dragon coin here, too. Yeah, those little, uh, spiky top enemies. Um, yeah, this is the game where they originated from. Yeah, they those guys never were in the new Super Mario Bros. games. That wasn't their first appearance. This game was. Yeah, it's kind of interesting that there's been quite a few Mario World enemies that made an appearance in other Mario games, which I guess is actually pretty cool. Come on, let's hit that block. There we go. Climb up this uh, vine, beanstalk, whatever you want to call it. And in that question mark block, you can get Yoshi. Alright. Come on, let's get on him. We need Yoshi to get the secret, and I don't even know if I do end up getting the secret first. I mean, I should get it first, because I think it'd just be more convenient that way. But, who knows. Yeah, I don't really think you need the spring for anything. I think I just kind of left that there, because why not? Oh, yeah, see, if you come down here, you can get a 1-up, but, you know, for me, I don't really need it, so I'm not too fixated on getting that 1-up. Yeah, I want to just fly over that checkpoint, please. Thank you. Oh, but this is where things get a little more tricky-dicky. If you can actually eat one of those rocks and throw it at the charging chuck, then yeah, that makes things so much easier. 
they die literally in one hit if you just throw a rock at them. Yeah, because rocks apparently cause major damage. <laughs> Which that makes, that totally makes a lot of sense. Even coming from Nintendo, it makes a lot of sense. Okay, yep. Oh, wow, okay. Alright, so yeah, we're not getting the secret now, so... I'll have to come back for that later, so... Yeah, you basically can kind of get the idea on how it works, but yeah, you need Yoshi to get the secret, so... Um, as far as I remember, I ended up doing a jump cut to the secret, so yeah, let, we'll just go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, back here once again for attempt number two. And here we go. Alright, so that unlocks the path to the Star Road leading to the Star World. Um, okay, so now we're going to head into the Valley of Bowser Fortress. Um, so let's get into this. Yeah, so I think through most of this video, yeah, I think I ended up just doing Valley of Bowser in one video. If I remember correctly, that's what ends up happening. Yeah, I definitely don't like this fortress level. This is probably, like, one of the more annoying levels to have to go through. That part might actually look easy, but it's... It gets much more annoying later on. Just just trust me on that. Yeah, those little spiky drill things, they, they come down a lot faster, and it's just really hard to keep up with them. Not right here, of course. I mean, technically this part's not really that hard. I mean, you just gotta... It's just more about time, trying to time your jumps correctly and stuff. Yeah, that time I really had no choice but to take the L. Alright, yep. We'll just grab that checkpoint. Hopefully there's some power-ups nearby. Wow, that really, that really is supposed to help, really. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Nintendo. Okay, yep, don't get hit by the Potaboo. Yeah, having a, a, a cape power up here would definitely help a lot. Right, come on. Really? Okay, yep, I guess I'm going to do a jump cut. So yeah, basically I think you kind of get the idea of how to get Dragon Coin number four. Well, no, I guess I'll show a second attempt. Yeah, this is actually how you're supposed to get it. You need to have a cape power up to get it. Now, again, the hard part about this fifth one is... Oh, I think I know what I have to do. You have to just, yeah, do that, and then... Wow, okay. I'm just gonna get hit before I go into the boss. Okay, yeah, that really, that really makes a lot of sense. Okay, yep. Again, thank you, Nintendo. Thank you for showing me something that really, really makes no sense. You know, I, I, I really, I really do appreciate that. Yeah, I also appreciate that you're shitting out fireballs in my face. Yeah, that... That's really helpful. Thank you. Okay. Yep, so that's the Valley of Bowser Fortress finished, and then, um... And then we have one more level to go through. Yep. So that'll op open up the back door, and... That basically leads to the final fight against Bowser, which that level we're not going to be taking on... For a while. That's going to be like the last thing I take on is the the final castle, final Bowser fight or whatever. Um, and to put it really simply, there are like two different doors you can go through. There's the front door and the back door. The front door, it's more like, you get more like taking the long way to the boss fight, but the back door, it's more like a shortcut to the fight, I guess you could say. Um, so, yeah, there are options on that. For me, personally, I usually just prefer the back door, because I just don't... It's just like one of those things where I just don't like dicking around a lot, but... At the same time, the back door is actually more for the people who are, uh, speedrunning this game. So if you're a speedrunner, yeah, you should... It's recommended to use the back door when fighting, uh, Bowser. Um, so that's definitely some word of advice to all the speedrunners out there. Um, and you might be wondering, how do you possibly speedrun this game? Well, there actually is a way to do it. It is possible to speedrun this game relatively quickly. Um, as a matter of fact, you could skip through, I think, 
Well, no, I don't think you could skip through most of the worlds. I think you have to, um... Oh, actually, no, I think you do have to speedrun. Yeah, I think you do have to go through most of the worlds or something. But still skip a few levels at the same time. Alright, so we got all five dragon coins, and then... Yeah, at this point, we can't really afford to screw up here. Alright, oh my gosh, yeah, and then we have this annoying Magic Koopa, or Kamek, as Nintendo refers to him as. And yeah, you don't want to be getting rid of Kamek, because if you do, yeah, he can't open up the blocks, and I, and I did it again, are you serious? Stupid Dry Bones keeps getting in my way. Yeah, get out of here, Dry Bones. Wow, really? Really? Can I please get a power-up? Thank you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we need him alive to open this up. Yeah, I think I end up doing a cut here. Yeah, having a, a cape power-up really helps, because you can just break those blocks more easily. Like, you could just create an opening more easily. So, yeah, I think I ended up just doing a cut. So, yeah, I just decided to cut to the fight. I already, at this point, got all the dragon coins, so all that was really left was just to take on Larry Koopa. Um, so it's just like the fight against Iggy Koopa from World 1. All you really have to do is just knock his ass into the lava. The hard part is, is that now you don't just have the tilting platform to deal with, but now you got these annoying ass Potaboos to deal with as well, and that really, really just, that really is apparently supposed to help for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah. Okay. <sighs> yep. So yeah, that's it for, for now that's going to be it for Valley of Bowser. Like I said, I'm not going to be taking on the final boss just yet until I finish up the the star world and the special world so yeah yeah we're not going to be saving her ass just yet so that'll be not for a while all right so yep well we'll take on the final boss in a much later part when we get to the finale so um yeah, so, let's see. Yeah, just go through here. Yeah, so that pretty much just ends up being it for this video, guys. Um, yeah, thank you all for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to join the Discord down below. And I'll see you guys in part 10 when we start up the Star World. And until then, this is Luigi Rocks 2014 signing out. And I'll see you guys next time. Later, guys.